Today we're here to show you how to lower a winch house onto the ground. I'm Tom with Yeti Outdoors. Here we have an 8x16 and first we're going to show how to lower the tongue down while still connected to your truck and then we'll follow up with each wheel. To start, you want to take your tongue winch and put tension onto the cable. Once you have enough tension, this pin will be able to move freely. When that moves freely, you'll pull the cotter key, remove the pin, and put it somewhere safe. And now, carefully put the winch into reverse and slowly lower down the house. Be sure to put some extra slack in the cable and you're ready to move on to your side wheel assembly. When going fishing, another popular way to lower your fish house is to completely disconnect your house from your truck. To do that, you're going to disconnect the trailer coupler, remove your safety chains, remove your trailer brake cable, and also disconnect your light cord. Next, I'm going to use the trailer tongue jack to raise the tongue off my truck and then completely lower the tongue to the ground. Once I've cranked the tongue up so it's disconnected from my truck, I'm gonna pull the tow vehicle ahead a few feet and then I'm ready to safely lower the tongue all the way down to the ice. As you're lowering down the tongue and you get close to the ice, you're going to want to ensure your chains and brake cable aren't gonna be pinched between the tongue and the ice. Now that I've completely lowered the tongue, I'm ready to move on to the driver's and passenger side wheel assemblies. First, we lowered our tongue winch. We went ahead and did the driver's side. And now we're gonna show you how to lower the passenger side wheel winch assembly. First, we're gonna crank our winch up to remove the slack we had in our cable for transport. And we're gonna continue tightening until our safety pin moves freely and we can remove. Now that our safety pin moves freely, we'll remove the cotter key and pull the pin out. Your next step will be to hang on to the winch, reverse the direction, and lower the house to the ice. Now that you've lowered your house, you're going to want to collect each of the three pins from around the fish house, bring them inside so you have them for safekeeping. When you're ready to go, hit your pins and raise the house in the reverse process. Your reels first and then your tongue and you're ready to go. I'm going to drill some holes and go fishing.